Hello, I'm Jeff Patterson. This is Daniel Tran. Today we're going to look at some skills to help develop our jab and work on making it more effective. We're going to talk about some energetic principles and how to deliver the jab with a couple different energies. We're going to talk about our structure and alignment, how to give it a little bit more power, and then a couple um, drills and techniques that you can play to help develop your jab and make it a little bit more solid. So first thing we're going to talk about is uh, basic structure and alignment. So when you're in your stance, say you're in a kick stance, Muay Thai kick stance. If I'm here, I'm in a shorter step. And uh, if I throw a jab from this position, it's not going to have a whole lot of power. I don't have a real good structure. And in that structure from here, if I'm punching like this, it's also going to shorten up the distance of my punch. If, and if I was standing like this, instead, I'm going to have more reach and I'm going to have more power. It's kind of like uh, if you ever had to push your car, or something heavy, if you stand like this, you're not going to have a lot of force, but you get behind it like this and have a lot of leverage, you're going to have a lot more power. It's the same thing with the jab. So when you're throwing the jab to get the most range and power out of the jab, we want to have our stance a little bit more narrow, a little bit longer. And I'm thinking about pushing from that back foot, the ball of my foot on that back foot up through my torso to connect that to my shoulder and connect that to my punch. So I've got that good structure. Now, when I, when I throw that punch, I want that timing to be, if, if I, if I start here and go here, it's going to be easy to see the punch coming. I need to initiate with the hand and then follow with the body. And as I do that, all of those things come together at the same time. So, uh, Daniel, can you come here, please? This is something to check your structure. You can play it on the heavy bag. You could do it against a wall. You can do it with a partner. And the idea of this is I go into my stance. I have good structure, good alignment with my stance. I put my fist on his chest and he's going to push into me. And at the same time, I'm going to keep him off and hold and push with my back foot. Now, I want to feel that connection going into the floor. If he pushes harder, that, that ball of my foot's going to feel a little more pressure. So I'm, I've got a good structure, almost like a wedge, stopping him from coming in from my fist to my shoulder to the floor here. If I can time my jab to have that structure and that connection, it's going to be very powerful. So when I hit, I want to think about hitting with these two knuckles. If I hit with these three knuckles here and I put that on his chest, it's not going to have the same structure. I'm not going to have as much power. Sometimes we will hit with those knuckles. Maybe we're throwing a hook or an uppercut or a shovel punch or something. But for the jab, I want you to focus on hitting with these two knuckles and that's going to give us the most torque and the, and the most power on this technique. Now, the two energetic principles I want to talk about today, one is kind of a backhand energy and the other hand is overhand energy. The first one we're going to look at is the backhand energy. On the backhand energy is almost like I'm doing a backhand slap. So when I come out, the wrist is soft and I'm just coming here and snapping the wrist. And this is just to get the idea of how to have that kind of energy when I'm throwing that jab out. Now, when you're delivering the jab, of course, you're not going to do like this. You're going to have your hand and you're going to come up with that backhand energy and then turn it around a second. And, but it's still coming from the side like this. So a little drill I like to play to work on the timing and the distance and to learn how to lead with the hand and not the body is we need a partner for this one. Come here, please. And go into your stance. So now what I'm going to do, um, let's step this way just a little bit. So we're in the middle there. And uh, I'm just going to come out nice and softly and, and tap him in the side of the neck here with my, my backhand energy. Now, if I lead with my body and he sees it coming, he's just going to parry with that backhand. It's very easy for him to deflect that punch. Now, if I initiate and I've got good structure, my weight's transferred in the right position, and I lead with my hand, when you see it coming, you try to block it. Good, again, good, again. Every time I'm tapping him in the neck, 
doesn't mean that I'm necessarily faster than him, but my structural speed and my timing is on. So it's really hard for him to respond and pick up on that when I'm in that range. And so understanding that not leading here is very important. Now, this is the first energy. The second energy for throwing the jab is coming over the overhand energy. So on this one, it's kind of like I'm coming around from the side here or doing a forehand slap. So with this one, you're going to come out and over the top. Again, I'm hitting with these two knuckles just like I did before, but it's kind of this way. So could you come here again, please? And now this is a drill to just kind of get used to that torque and just feel the connection from the floor into the hand. So I'm just going to kind of slap them on the forearm there. Feel this. That's going to give me the power to kind of feel how that jab comes in from this side. So once I've got this backhand slap and that forehand and can feel how the energy can come from either side for that jab, now when I deliver that jab or play that jab, it's not going to be like this and it's not going to be like this. They're very narrow. In fact, if you watch somebody who is a high level boxer throwing both of those jabs, it's really hard to pick apart really which one they're doing. So if I throw two jabs, one, two, from the outside, they look almost the same, but energetically inside, one was coming from here and the other one was coming from here. So when you understand how to use that is very important because when you're sparring, you're hitting the mitts or whatever it is you're doing, if you're moving around on the floor, sometimes you're a little off on this side. It's a lot easier from here to throw that backhand energy jab. It's a lot easier over here to throw that overhand. So having those two methods of how to deliver the jab combined with your structure and the timing and the, the delivery of the punch is going to really help improve your skill set on the jab. So with this, um, there, there's lots of other things we can do with the jab. I might, I'm gonna, next week, I'm going to put together a, another video on the jab to kind of talk about some other skills that you can work on. But uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video today and uh, got something out of it and can use that to help polish up your jab a little bit. If uh, you're enjoying the content that we're putting out, <clears throat> please subscribe to the channel below, like the video, and uh, if you have any comments or any questions, leave those below as well, and we'll try to get to those. And uh, if you have any content that you're working on that you'd like to see, let us know about that too. We'll see if we can put something together for you. Thanks a lot for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.